Okay, back again. Let's see what I can do this time. Okay, read that, just in case. Now, I'm going to try the... Well, I'm going to do the show stop mission, but hopefully I can do it more perfectly. Because in my practice one, or in my practice run, it really messed up. Like too many um, non-target kills. And the reason why I take the master key and the lock pick is because there's still some doors, especially on the basement level, that can't be unlocked with the master key. Don't know why, but it happens. Alright, I don't need to trouble the security room. But I can actually, you know what, I can show how to get rid of the security guys, just in case. So, wait for that guy to just walk out. Okay, he's walking out. As soon as he makes the corner, strangle this guy. Quickly as he can. Yeah, he's down. Now quickly run to the other guy. Strangle him. Okay, you're down. And then drag him to the box. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck. Sometimes he gets stuck on the chair and then kind of fucks you up. But fortunately, that has not happened. Okay, so these two are gone. I just have to wait for that other guy to come back. And then wait for him to sit back down and strangle him and then put him in a different container just in the next room. Here he comes. Okay. Now let's wait for him to sit down. Hey, waiter. Hey. Nothing to see here. Then strike him. <laughs> okay. Go out of the way. Go pick up your gun just in case. Pick that up. Oh, I don't want to add poison. Okay. Now to drag him. It's always good to pick up their guns. Last thing you need is someone else to find it and then be suspicious. But normally you don't get in too much trouble for that. They just take the gun away and put it in one of those cases. Okay. That's done. Now. Nope. Wrong weapon. Lead pipe. Thank you. I should make it invisible. First. Okay, he's walking that direction, which is perfect. Turn off the fuse box. <laughs> now, the reason I'm using the lead pipe is just to knock them out quicker. So one guy's going to check the fuse box, the other guy's going to check the server, and one guy is going out for a smoke. So quickly knock him out. Drag you. Place you in the box. Take your gun, just in case. Switch to lead pipe again. And knock you out. Pick up your gun. And in you go. Very easy. And it's this thing right here that is what records you. So it's best to sabotage that. Done. You don't have to worry about any evidence or being catched by the security cameras. You could just have some peace of mind by dealing with that quickly. Now you don't have to deal with the guy that was smoking because I don't know, he's just not in the way. If he was in the way, then I'd deal with him. Yeah, what the hell is a 
Maybe just do it with this guy first as well. Okay, if I want to do the showstopper accidental kill, I have to go... Oh god, this is... Sometimes this can get confusing. But... Is... I have to go and get a crowbar. It's definitely through here, through this exit. It's like, if you want to get to the other end of the palace, going underground is the best way. Okay, there's a wrench. Don't need it, but just in case. <laughs> and then there is poison right here. Don't need it right now, but it's just in case. <laughs> but if change of plans. There's definitely a crowbar somewhere. I found it once. It's definitely where the technicians are. I think, was that it? No, that's a screwdriver. Don't need that. Where are you? I think it's further down. There it is. Right. Pick that up. And gone. Well, he's, yeah, that's the guy that was taking the smoke from the security room. And this was the door that I could not unlock with the master key. I would need to lockpick it. Okay, let's head back. Hold on. What was this? Oh. I didn't realize that was a canister. I actually thought you could mess with the, the clothes or something. A more untraditional catwalk Now she's the ice king. No way. Don't worry. When the show's over, everything will be back to normal. Let's go through here. It's quicker to get to the other side of where I need to go. Actually, just for the fun of it, I think I'll poison that security guard. Well, that personal security guard, I should say. Okay, poison this. Thank you very much. Now, let's have to wait for him to come down here. That hey, that's my cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite he takes a dove. I'll wait for him. Okay, your clothes are mine. Thank you. Hide your body. Where's your gun? Yeah. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is get a different disguise. And this will 
definitely help me. Okay, let's go up here. Come on, chest out, chin up. Command is dropping the ball like you wouldn't believe today. And this is another good thing to having the master key. Unlock this. Nope, use that. Thank you. And there uh, I go close the door. And there is the sheik. Now the best way to get his clothes is to distract him in here. Just wait for him. I just need to wait for him to go back inside. Okay. Turn on the radio. Hide in here. There we get my... Yeah, the wrench will do it. Wait for him to turn it off. I'm too lazy to turn it off myself. Come on, turn it off. Okay, that was you are terminated. And done. Hide your body in here. Take your clothes. Now I can easily get anywhere on the top floor. Because now I'm a prince. <laughs> I could just be a waiter and poison his drink, probably, but I haven't really tried that. Actually, no, I don't think that would work. I guess it would count as trespassing. I think I need to be a waiter that wears a black vest to pull that off or something. Let me know if you need anything, Sheik Agazawi. Because I took out the security cameras, I can just walk out on here. So I don't have to worry about cameras recording me at all because I took them out earlier. That's perfect. Why can't we go upstairs with those Here we are. I almost lost my way for a second. Hope you're enjoying Paris, Sheik Al I normally just climb up the pipes. That's why I almost lost my way. <laughs> I almost forgot where I was. I still don't see the poison on the table, so... You're in. Good work. So this is the auction of secrets. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. Okay, blend in. Now I can do the auction. And bid with the Sheik's money. You could also, like, dress up as someone Ladies else and, and do the same thing. Knowledge without power. Is just ivory towered academics. Power without knowledge is simply brute force. But combined, power and knowledge shape the face of the planet. Happy bidding. Okay, place bid. Your Excellency Sheik Al Ghazali. Miss Margolis invites you to join her in her office. The bidding has closed. Okay. Next on the list is a real treat. Ladies and gentlemen, legal surveillance exposed in the shipping sector of India. Hold on, who are you? You know who I am. Damn straight, fucker. Pick this up. There is a challenge where I could drop this chandelier on her head. But that'd be way too risky. 
Sheik Salman Al Ghazali, heir to one of the largest fortunes in Arabia. And yet you bother to dabble in politics. Very commendable. You had something to show me? Uh, should I? My organization he is tempting. Has serendipitously acquired a list of names. British MI6 agents working in your very backyard. A knock list. Now, I normally don't like to play favorites, but I do like to see my merchandise put to good use. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Well done, 47. Victor Novikov is next. Okay. She got hit by the chandelier and knocked him out. Okay. That worked. Take your clothes, buddy. Take Can I take his clothes? Fuck. No, I can't. Oh, why? It's an honor serving you, sir. Yeah, honor, everything. Yeah, that bollocks. Yeah. Okay, now to deal with Victor. Any more bid? Assalam. It's an honor serving you, sir. What the hell? Is Victor already on stage? Oh! Thank you. You are too, really too kind. Oh, there he is. All right. I have been told that these are my most accessible designs yet. But don't let the bright colors and the classical cuts fool you. The themes I'm exploring here are perhaps my darkest yet. He's I'm right there, but he needs to be more. The rest. Coercion. Oh, crap. The notion that, that free will <laughs> is only an illusion. That we are all controlled by sinister forces. Sinister what? Oh, now he walks in. <laughs> Who's that Loving guy standing in there? Face. There's another guy in the middle. You know what? Screw it. This is gonna like. Success. There's definitely gonna be a few non-target kills here. Proba. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Ah, is that fashion designer that was on the middle of the stage for some damn reason? All right. There's a lot of non-target kills when it comes to pulling that stunt. Well, two accidental kills, one with a chandelier. The other is by those show lights. Don't mind me. Hope you're enjoying Paris, Sheikh Al Ghazali. Oh, that chandelier one was risky. But apparently, you can do the chandelier on Victor as well. And there's another kill where you can throw um Dahlia's. Right, well, what the hell's he do? Oh shit, he's searching. I need to get out of here. Okay, go this way. This is just the fastest way to just make my exit. <laughs> Yeah, the tech guys are in trouble.
Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, there's so many things to do, so many ways to take these guys out. But the showstopper accident is like a double-edged sword. It's, it looks the most coolest one to do. But at the same time, there is so many non-kill targets that really sacrifice your points. Is that it? There's nothing else is popping up? Alright. Yeah, like, that is us. Minus 35,000. Just because of the showstopper. About seven people got killed because of that. It's a cool, it's a cool thing to do, but at the same time, if you want to get a lot of points, it's not worth doing. I think it's only worth doing if you want to just complete the challenge. That's about it. Anyway, that's it from me for now. Thank you guys for watching and I will be back with the next video.